evaluate the following limit. So we have the limit as x goes to infinity of 14x e to the 1 over x minus 14x. So whenever you have a limit like this, you always want to try just direct substitution. What happens if we just say x is approaching infinity? Well, if x is approaching infinity, the power on this e to the x, 1 over a number approaching infinity, tends to 0. So we'd have e to the 0, which is 1. Uh, and we'd have infinity minus infinity because we have 14 times infinity minus 14 times infinity. Now, 14 times uh, infinity minus infinity is an indeterminate form, so that's not going to be 0. So we can't figure out what this limit is as is. So we need to do something with it, and you should be clued in that we need to use L'Hopital's rule at some point here to evaluate an indeterminate limit. So the best way to go about that is let's try to simplify this first and remember that to use L'Hopital's rule we have to turn it into a fraction. So obviously it's not one now, we need to get it that way. So if you notice first there's 14x in both terms so let's factor that out. So if we factor out a 14x we're left with e to the 1 over x minus 1 Okay, that's a step in the right direction. And we're doing limit as x goes to infinity. Let me keep, continue to write this at each step. So, the easiest thing to do now would be, first of all, since we have a 14, remember that a constant does not affect your limit, so we can pull that outside. So the thing is, we have x times e to the 1 over x minus 1. We can't evaluate that. We need to make it a fraction so that we can use L'Hopital's rule. The easiest way to do that is that if we have x in the numerator, that's the same thing as just putting 1 over x in the denominator. <clears throat> so this is the exact same thing as this. Um, I mean, in normal mathematics, you probably wouldn't want to do that. But because we have to make it a fraction, we do want to do that in this case. <coughs> and since our exponent has a power of 1 over x, that actually is going to make this work out really nice. So, since this is still indeterminate, remember, until you do L'Hopital's rule, no algebraic rearranging could ever make an indeterminate limit determinate just by moving things around. Now we're ready to use L'Hopital's rule. So remember that L'Hopital's rule says that if you have an indeterminate limit, it's the limit's uh, value is the same as if you took the limit of the derivative of the top over the derivative of the bottom. So, I'll just put that there. So, by L'Hopital's rule, this is then equal to the limit of the derivatives of the top and bottom. So, the derivative of e to the 1 over x is going to be e to the 1 over x times the derivative of the uh, exponent and the derivative of 1 over x by your basic power rule is going to be negative 1 over x squared. Remember you can treat 1 over x as just x to the minus 1 and use your power rule. So the derivative of the denominator is that exact same thing. So by L'Hopital's rule, this limit and this limit are the same. Now, the limit on the right that we just did, that's a lot easier to figure out. And remember, since we had minus 1, that didn't appear here. Because we have a negative 1 over x squared on the numerator and the denominator, so those can cancel out. So that just becomes the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the 1 over x. Now that's not indeterminate. We can figure that out. As x goes to infinity, this exponent goes to 0 because we get 1 over a number tending to infinity. Then e to the 0 is 1. So this limit is 1 times the 14 we had put outside in the first place. So we get that our resulting limit is in fact 14. So remember that to use L'Hopital's rule you have to have the function that you're taking the limit of as a fraction and doing that 
it, if it's not set up for you as a fraction already, usually just involves putting the reciprocal of one of the terms on the denominator so that you can get a fraction. And remember that when you do the L'Hopital's rule, you're taking the derivative of the top and the derivative of the bottom, not the derivative of the function as a whole. And those limits are always going to be equal um, as long as it was indeterminate to start with.